Well, the first day of school, can you believe it? Just over a week away for the Charter School for Applied Technologies. And this year, the students will be meeting a new staff member. Lucy, the therapy dog, is reporting for duty. News 4's Katie Alexander shows us why. Starting a new school year can be a little nerve-wracking, but Lucy here doesn't seem to be too worried. In fact, her job is to take the worry away from others. She loves people and loves to be around kids, and she soaks up every minute that she can when she's with our students. Lucy is a perfect fit for her new job. She even has her own staff ID badge. The one-year-old Golden Retriever mix recently became a certified therapy dog through Paws for Love with the SPCA serving Erie County and got right to work at the Charter School for Applied Technologies. She came into our summer school program that we have at our school for our kindergarten and first grade students and we read a story to the classrooms and she did this. She slept, she got lots of snuggles and pets and she was, she was great. Lucy's owner, the director of the CSAT Family Support Center, says the school's newest therapy dog is always a good girl. And she has a good role model. Gus has been a therapy dog at CSAT for three years now, and he makes a big difference for staff and students alike. Gus works with students who have expressive speech issues. Students read to him. He does uh, programs where he calm students down that are have, you know, having a rough day. We use him as a tier one intervention service for an entire classroom, but he makes uh, students feel at home and relaxed. Gus went through a lot of training for this job, and it's one he's happy to do. He loves it here. As soon as I get dressed and put on my ID tag, he knows where we're going. He loves it here. And the whole CSAT family loves their therapy dogs. It takes a special animal to be the right fit. They need to be friendly, calm, they need to enjoy being pet by others. Uh, they need to just have a welcoming attitude and just be excited and kind of go with the flow. For now, Lucy and Gus are making the new staff members feel comfortable as new teacher orientation continues. The first day of school here is August 26th. Katie Alexander, News 4. Well, we wish Lucy the best of luck, but I'm sure she's not going to need it.